Hello and welcome to Greece Travel Guide. Sifnos is one of our favourite Greek islands, offering a near-perfect blend of fantastic beaches, delicious local cuisine, fabulous sightseeing and abundant hiking trails. Unspoiled by mass tourism, Sifnos offers you a chance to explore and experience authentic Greek island life, and in this video guide we'll cover everything you need to know to get the most out of your time on this stunning island. Before we explore the delights of Sifnos, let's first cover how you can get to the island. Sifnos lacks an airport so you'll need to arrive by ferry, but there are still a couple of options to consider when making your travel arrangements. If you're arriving in Greece via Athens International Airport, the most direct route to Sifnos is a ferry from the main port of Piraeus. These run daily in high season, take between 2.5 and, and 5 hours, and cost from 35 to 70 euros with the most expensive ticket being the faster high-speed ferries. Alternatively, you can take an internal flight to the neighbouring island of Milos, followed by a much shorter direct ferry to Sifnos. Flights cost around 100 euros and take just 40 minutes. Ferries from Milos cost between 18 and 30 euros, take around 45 minutes and run multiple times a day in high season. Depending on your international flight arrival time, it may not be possible to make a same-day ferry connection from Piraeus. We recommend allowing at least three hours between your arrival time and the ferry departure to ensure you have enough time to get from Athens airport to Piraeus, with contingency for flight delays and collecting your baggage. If you don't have enough time, it's worth considering the internal Milos flight and spending a night or more on Milos as an alternative to overnighting in Piraeus. Having planned your arrival on Sifnos, you'll need to decide where to stay. There are several resorts on the island to choose from, popular options being the port town of Camares, the inland capital of Apollonia or its northern neighbour Artemonas, or the beach resorts of Platialos and Vathi. Every resort has something unique to offer, and we'll cover each of them in the next section. As the port town, Camares is the most convenient resort as you'll pass through it anyway on arrival and departure. It has excellent bus connections, making getting everywhere on the island easy. It has arguably the best beach and one of our favourites in Greece. A vast expanse of soft, golden sand with clear, calm and shallow water across its wide bay. Most accommodation is on the bay's south side, behind and east of the port on the hillside. The northern side of the bay is quieter, with a few small villas and apartments, plus a couple of tavernas. Most of the cafes and restaurants are on the southern side though, so if you stay in the north, you'll have a 10 to 15 minute walk across the bay to return to your accommodation. The island's capital, Apollonia, is inland approximately 15 minutes southeast of Camares by car or local bus. A traditional Cycladic village, it's full of narrow painted streets with small shops, bars and restaurants. Quiet during the daytime, the village comes alive in the evening and is well worth visiting even if you don't choose to stay here. Accommodation in Apollonia is mostly studio rooms and apartments, though there are a few small hotels outside the village centre. Artemonas has a similar feel but is quieter with fewer shops and bars. You'll find the island's central bus station here, making it a great central location for exploring the rest of the island. After Camares, Platyalos is the main beach resort on Sifnos. Situated in a large southeast facing bay, the beach is soft sand and the sea is shallow and mostly clear, though there are rocky patches in the centre. The beach is relatively narrow in the middle, backed closely by beachfront tavernas, shops and cafes. Accommodation is scattered behind the resort centre and across the hillside to the north. Due to the island's relatively small size, you can reach Platyalos in less than 15 minutes from Apollonia, or just over 20 minutes from the port of Camares, making it a convenient base to explore the island if you like being close to the sea but don't want to stay near the port. Vathi is a more secluded beach resort located on the southwestern coastline of Sifnos. Popular with tourists seeking a quieter and more relaxed base, 
It has a lovely sandy beach and calm sea thanks to its wide sheltered bay. A few tavernas line the beach towards the northern end where you'll also find most of the accommodation. Like Platyalos, Vathi is just 15 minutes from Apollonia by car. There is a regular bus service, but it's not as frequent as other resorts, so you might want to consider arranging your own transportation if you plan to stay here but want the flexibility to explore the island at your leisure. Located on the eastern coastline of Sifnos, Castro is the island's historic capital and features the ruins of a 14th century Venetian castle with stunning panoramic views. Although a few guest houses and apartments offer accommodation here, it's more popular as a sightseeing destination. Lose yourself in the maze of narrow pedestrian streets, enjoy a sunset cocktail or glass of wine at one of the cafe bars, or if you're feeling adventurous, visit Cavos Sunrise a Cuban dive bar with an eccentric Greek owner serving massive measures of rum-based cocktails for five euros with outdoor cushion seating offering unparalleled views across the Aegean Sea. Castro is also where you'll find the most iconic site on Sifnos, the tiny church of the Seven Martyrs. Perched atop a small rocky outcrop, it's accessible only via a winding series of steps heading down from the southern end of Castro, but the view is definitely worth the effort and not to be missed. You'll find the small fishing village of Heronisos in the far north of Sifnos. A local bus service provides access to the village three times a day in high season. If you want flexibility, it's easier to visit using your own transportation and takes approximately 20 minutes by car from Apollonia. You'll find a small sandy beach in a narrow northwest facing bay with calm, clear water ideal for a refreshing swim. A selection of accommodation is available in Heronisos for those seeking a more peaceful destination, but the resort only has two tavernas, so dining options are pretty limited. Just north of Heronisos, the Church of Agios Georgios is a short walk from the village and offers excellent panoramic views of the north end of the island and across to the neighbouring island of Seraphos. Another popular tourist attraction, the Monastery of Chrysopagi, is situated on a narrow rock outcrop on the southeast coastline of Sifnos. A relatively large building, it was constructed in 1650 and is an important pilgrimage site for many Orthodox Greeks. The monastery has excellent views of the surrounding coastline and is well worth visiting during your time on the island. If you don't have your own transportation, the best way to see Chrysopagy is by taking the local bus to the nearby village of Pharos, then following the 1.5km coastal hiking trail around the bay and past Apokofto Beach. The beach is also worth visiting and features a couple of traditional Greek tavernas, an ideal spot for lunch with a view. Situated high on the hillside to the north of Camares, Agios Simeon Church is one of our favourite spots on the island. Offering incredible sunset views across the western coastline, it's possible to see many of the neighbouring islands from this viewpoint on a clear day. While reaching the church on foot is possible, 
It's a 12 km round trip from Camaras, with a reasonably steep ascent towards the end. There are no bus stops nearby, so the only alternative is to arrange your own transportation, but be aware that the road leading up to the church is steep and may not be a pleasant experience for anyone with a fear of heights. That said, it's worth the effort to visit this unique location and we strongly recommend making it a part of your Sifnos itinerary. As well as the fabulous beaches and tourist attractions we've already seen, Sifnos is well known for its excellent network of well-marked hiking trails that cover much of the island. These are easily on a par with other hiking islands such as Andros and Amorgos and make it a very appealing destination if you love being active outdoors. To learn more about hiking on Sifnos, you can visit the excellent website sifnostrails.com shown here and with a link in the description below. The site has detailed route maps covering the 10 hiking trails on the island, many of which can be tackled in sections and will take you on ancient pathways with stunning views inaccessible by car or public transport. As you've seen in this video, Sifnos is one of the best Greek islands and is currently our number one destination. We visited Sifnos four times, with each stay as enjoyable as the last. With an excellent public bus network offering regular connections to most resorts, it's easy to get around even without your own transportation. The island remains traditionally Greek in its character and welcomes tourists with fantastic local cuisine and great hospitality. If you've been to Sifnos, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, you can learn more about Sifnos and all the other islands we've visited on our website, greasetravelguide.co.uk. Don't forget to like the video if you've enjoyed watching and consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time.